manifesting your specific person and I'm going to share with you what happened with one of my close friends I do this a lot with my friends actually they don't necessarily understand the laws they hear about it through me but they don't truly really have a grasp of it and I don't really impose the teachings onto them I mention it to them I plant things in their mind but I don't necessarily go into depth with them but this is how a friend of mine manifested her specific person unbeknownst to her and he's done a complete 180 and again to prove to you that whether or not SP said to you I don't love you anymore or I don't want this this is impossible I'm not interested whatever the situation might be it doesn't matter I know I say this to you many many times and I've done a video recently as well about circumstances not being an issue unless we make it an issue but of course I think it's hard for us to sometimes grasp this so I'm going to share with you as many of my own experiences that of my clients and my friends as well who are manifesting albeit unconsciously to share with you how this stuff happens all the time it's not beyond you and if you got if you are going through a difficult situation with your SP manifestation I hope that if anything these stories will serve a, a purpose to inspire you and to make you realize your power because the only the only thing standing in your way from receiving your manifestation is is you is ourselves because we're the ones who create the obstacles we're the ones who create the issues we're the ones who create the breakups or the breakdowns so I'm going to share with you my friend's situation what happened and how she got her specific person coming in extremely hot and heavy so stay tuned um, first up I'm Athena Raven I'm a mental health and manifestation life coach here to empower you and inspire you on your manifestation journey so if the content is helping you out and you'd like me to continue please do like and subscribe to help boost this algorithm and let's get this content out there to a wider audience who might be needing a little bit of help and support during this time also click that bell icon so you never miss a beat I don't know where the bell icon is so I'll just point <laughs> and I love and appreciate all of you guys for being here so with regards to my friend I have asked her by the way I'm not sharing this behind her back but I'm not going to go into too much detail again I like to protect people's privacy but what I will state is that she like a lot of my clients like a lot of us has come from a really bad she had a really horrific breakup a, a couple of years ago now but the thing is because it was so so bad it really affected her trust in relationships going forward I can't say that her self-esteem was always the best and although I can see what happened that broke down that relationship I'm not sort of I'm not bringing it up to her too much like I say she's not she doesn't understand the laws or if I talk to her about everyone is yourself pushed out and how people mirror you it would just go over her head but anyway needless to say because of that terrible breakup which involved a betrayal being left for someone else um, she doesn't want that person back she's decided like that's it betrayal cut this person off but of course like all of us she's looking for love and companionship and has been not having the greatest of successes when it comes to online dating she's been going on the apps she's had a couple of dates and it's been let down after let down even when they come in strong and stating they want a relationship next thing they're going ghost they're going cold and of course naturally she is chasing and getting way way too attached and I can see this behavior and so I do talk to her every day just naturally because we've been friends for years and I'll make sure like I that I plant things in her mind that I get her to rethink about her situation I could tell that she was honing in too much on these guys I could tell that she was starting to label all men as unreliable untrustworthy because of her last situation I could tell that she was having her guard up more and more and so I had to get her to see the alternative perspective to trust and believe that whoever you're looking for that ideal partner does exist and they're seeking you just like you're seeking them and it's just a matter of time and I got her as well to journal out her ideal attributes of what a what a great partner would be for her and so she kept promising me that she was going to do this and she she has assured me that that's what she did she wrote it down and it made her feel good because she could actually sit down and think to herself okay what is it that I require from from a boyfriend anyway 
she's always had a very limited life. She's a single parent. And so she hasn't really got much of the social life going on. Everything is about her child, but now her child is old enough to go to school. So she's starting to free herself up. And I said to her, you're labeling yourself with all these limiting labels of being stay at home, mother, it's all about other people. You don't pour enough energy and effort into yourself. It's always about pleasing other people, conditional love. I have to people please in order to get love. And of course, she's getting disappointed with that because if we don't put the love into ourselves, how can our mirrors, people, the world around us that is our mirror, how can they mirror back to us what we wish to experience if we don't give it to ourselves first? It's like putting on, you know, looking in the, at our reflection and stating, okay, change your outfit to the reflection in the mirror. And of course, the reflection in the mirror cannot do anything unless we change our outfit first and it reflects it back. It's no different to your specific person or anyone that you're manifesting for that matter. Um, so I had to get her to pour the energy and attention into herself to shape her self-concept into something else. And so she did as the daughter was going to school. So it freed herself up from these limiting labels that she imposed upon herself. She started going out more and seeing other friends that she hadn't seen for a while, as well as myself, of course. We were doing new things together. She started going to the gym because she was like, I used to love doing that and it used to give me so much confidence, little spa treats as well for herself, doing it all on her own. And as much as she would have liked the companionship of someone else to do these things with, she was finding a lot of pleasure. It was, it was this, this was the lifestyle that really resonated with her, that she really enjoyed. Anyway, suddenly from these dating apps, she matches with someone who she used to work with uh, and a couple of other people and they're having conversations. And this time, instead of it dwindling off into nothing or just getting matched and then getting unmatched again, I think those of you who are on dating sites, maybe you've experienced this as well. It's actually not the easiest way to meet people as you would think who seem to be saturated with choice, but no one makes the effort to really converse over these uh, over these apps. So she's like chatting to these people and she met someone she worked with before. There was another guy, there was another guy. She's told me of a few, I'm actually losing count. And anyway, suddenly she finds herself with all these guys who are interested and actually wanting to take her out on a date. And so she starts going on these dates and it's really boosting her confidence. And there's one guy in particular that she really, really felt drawn to, she really liked. And of course, she fell back into the needy, as soon as he came in, she latched on and she was like, oh my goodness, I really like him so much. And after that first date, which seemed to go so well, he then messages her and says he's not really interested, um, that he's changed his mind about this whole thing. And so I said to her, don't be disheartened. I said, I know that he's going to come back. He's going to regret his decision and he's going to come back. I decided it for her. And she accepted that as well because she felt that they had a real connection of all these others that she was chatting to and dating, even the person that she used to work with. It just wasn't the same sort of chemistry. She met up with them. It was lovely. It was great to get this attention, but it just wasn't right. You know when it's right, don't you? When you meet that person, you just have that instant click. That's what she had. And so she continues working on herself feeling good. She doesn't really know that she's actually working on herself per se. She was just doing the stuff that she loved. Remember, she's unconsciously manifesting this outcome, but she had accepted what was on her checklist and she had accepted as well that he was going to come back because I said so too. And she just got on with things and didn't linger on it too much like she would in the past. She would linger on these guys ghosting her and she would start to question herself and put herself down even more. This time was different. This time I did not allow her to do that. She didn't allow herself to do that. And she carried on doing the stuff that she loves, even taking on um, a couple of courses as well and looking forward to what kind of work she would love to do. So her life is starting to change quite a lot. And she forgets about this person and it's not been that long. I would say perhaps a few weeks of radio silence after he sent that message. And then guess who comes back in touch? Although this time he still seems uncertain. This time he's not fully conformed, but he's come in and he's talking to her, trying to open up the lines of communication and trying to state that, well, you know, I'm interested in this type of person, this type of girl. And she was like, well, you know what? 
that's not really me. That's not really my persona. So if that's the kind of relationship you're looking for, it's not going to be with me. She stayed true and strong, although she really liked him and she wanted to entertain seeing him again. But I said to her, don't compromise. You know what you want. You've written it out on the list. You've seen it. Go back to that list as well. He either fits the bill or he doesn't. You can maybe see him fitting this bill. See if the outfit, the um, persona that you have created in your list of attributes, see if it fits on him. And, she, you know, luckily, because they don't have any history, she doesn't know him all that well. She could attach it to him. She could see it. Uh, she could see it happening. And she would say to me as well, yeah, I could see him being this way. And there was stuff that he said that I could see that he would be a doting father. And I could see that he's um, got these wonderful attributes and could be generous and reliable. I can see that. Okay, he let me down, but I'm not going to allow it to cloud my judgment of him. And so again, he dwindles off a little bit. And then <laughs> this, I think it was like, so yesterday or the day before or something like that, she said, you know, he's coming back in all hot and heavy and he's stating that he's got all these regrets, that he regrets what he said, that he totally wants to disregard what he said before, that, that actually that's not the type of girl he's looking for, that really it's her. He doesn't know what he was thinking. He really regrets it. She sort of screenshotted his message as well. And he's just like, I'm so sorry. I hope that we can work things out. And of course she's forgiving and she's like, yep, that's fine. Um, let's meet up. And so they arranged to meet up. And if anything, <laughs> I mean, I've never known, like, it's such a drastic turnaround, whereby today they had their date and they've been, she's been messaging me and he's gone completely the opposite way. You see, for fun, we used to always joke as well that her, her ideal partner would basically be the male version of me. <laughs> <laughs> someone that she could have a laugh with and talk to about anything, have like long conversations. We never run out of things to talk about. We're typical girlies just, you know, yammering away at each other. Um, someone who was into spirituality and uh, that kind of thing. Because although that she doesn't know too much about it, she is open and she is interested in all of that stuff. And she wanted someone that she could also introduce to her friends that would get on with her best friends, i.e. me. So this guy literally ticks all of these all of these boxes, all these attributes. And she's messaging me going, oh my God, basically he's the male version of you that I've attracted in. And he's into all this spiritual stuff. And he was telling me all these things and it's the similar stuff that you've talked about, except I don't understand it all too much, but you guys need to meet and talk as well. And he's coming in so hot and heavy saying he wants to be a good father to her daughter. He wants to give this a go. And he really does see them becoming um, a serious relationship. Like he is ready, he is ready to commit. He knows what he wants and he absolutely adores her energy and wants to just keep on getting to know her. So they had a date earlier today. They had another date this evening. They met up again this evening and she's messaging saying, oh my goodness, it's just incredible. He's just completely turned around and he just ticks all of the boxes. And I was like, do you see how this works? Do you see, you planted the seed in your mind. You didn't obsess about it. You didn't put your focus on it. You got on with your life. You were dating other people. You were enjoying the attention of other people. That's why when clients say to me, oh, um, I've heard from other coaches that if you're living in the end, you're manifesting a specific person, you're living in the end, living as if they're here, then surely I can't date. That would be like cheating on my SP. No, this is not what living in the end is all about, by the way. And I'll do another video with regards to what living in the end actually means with regards to your specific person manifestation. But essentially, you've accepted your desire is yours. Or what are you going to do in the meantime? Just pretend and be delusional that it's here and put your whole life on hold? Absolutely not. You're going to date. You're going to meet people. You're going to go out. You're going to continue to develop yourself as a human being. God knows I did. I dated someone else when I was manifesting my specific person and it was actually all part of the bridge. So the fact that she was just getting on with things and dating other people, she started to feel more confident. She started to find out who she was. She started to feel better just as a woman, feeling attractive again, because don't forget, she had that horrific breakup, smashed her confidence to pieces. If you knew what this person did and, and how it went, it was awful. And it took her a long time to get over that. But now, Things are moving in the right direction, particularly with this guy that she really had her heart set on. They had that real chemistry. And so she was extremely disappointed when it seemingly broke down. But this is what I mean about perseverance. Even when your SP comes in and say they're not fully conformed, persevere anyway, 
because you create the outcome. They might not come in and be your knight in shining armor from the get-go, so what? It doesn't matter. There's always a reason for it and it's always perfect. But they will turn around. They can turn around. I've seen it happen too many times and I had to share this with you guys just, you know, to, again, further um, further run it in, <laughs> further sort of bring it home that it's possible for, for her, it's possible for anyone. You don't even have to know how to use the law to manifest this stuff in. But I've been guiding her. I knew, I just, I just knew anyway it was going to happen. And so there it is. So I'm sending you guys all the love in the world. And I really hope this served to inspire you on your journey. Never give up, okay? Don't give up on your desires. You deserve to have whatever it is that your heart wants. Okay, I'm sending you guys loads of love and I'll see you in the next video.